Do you find it hard to find music to start with every week? Do you wish you had a method to find music week after week? Then watch this video. Hi guys, this is Vanny from Piano Sight Reading, where I give sight reading tips to pianists. If you're new here, then make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you see more videos like this. So if you're someone like me who likes to sight read all the time, then there will come a time where you run out of music. Say you're sight reading a, a fat book full of music and you reach the end of the book, what happens next? Where do you go to find more music? You might have a whole stack of music that you can just take from your shelf, but maybe you don't. So what do you do? So in this video, I'm going to show you what I do every week to keep finding music. And I'm going to show you where I find it and where I keep it and what I do with the music I start read. So usually on any given week, I start read several composers. So what I'll do is I'll find music on IMSLP, music on script, I'll use scores from the pianist magazine and also music from a real book. So when I'm about to run out of music, which happens to be the case now, is I will go on IMSLP and I will look through the list of pieces from the composer I've been sight reading. For example, I've been reading these volumes by Jeff Minokin in the last few weeks and I've just finished the volume 4. So what I would do now is go and click on the all these other volumes here and find volume 5 and you can just click on it. And then what I do is I share it, I go on the share button and I copy it to an app, a score reading app. And the one I use is Fourscore. So I copy it to Fourscore. And then immediately you have it in the app. The reason you want to use something like a, a score reading app is that it allows you to turn the pages. And what I use now actually is a page turning pedal, which looks like this. So I have it on the ground and I just press the pedal to flip the pages. It's very easy to use. And with this app for score, you can also annotate. So you can go here, press on annotate, and then write whatever you like. And something else I, I now do in for score is I have created some set lists for sight reading. So if you look here on the three lines, I've got some set lists. I've made a list for two sight read, so pieces I want to sight read, and then I have a set list done, so that's all the pieces I've sight read. I also have a list for to return to, so say I've been sight reading something and didn't work out that well, and I want to come back to it later, then I put it in this list. And then the last list is to learn, so if I like a piece that I've been sight reading, then I will put it in that set list. Say I wanted to add the volume 5 I've just downloaded to sight read list, I click here on edit, I select it, and then I go to edit here, and then I click the set list that I want, so to sight read. And then now if I go in the list, I should have it there. Okay, so now I have volume 5. The other two apps that I use are Script and Pocket Mags. So that's where I have the Pianist magazine. So let me show you Script. So Script is where you can find books, sheet music, uh, lots of different things. So say I've finished reading something, a book I, I liked. Then what I can do is go to where it says documents recommended for you. So I can either go and look for recommendations or I can go and look for similar to something. So it will show me music that is similar to what I've been reading. For example, let's say I want to look at this one here. I can have a look first. See if I like it, 
Um, and then if I like the look of it, I can just save it. And I add it to my side reading list. So I've got a side reading list here. And then when I open script, it will open the, the last open document. Here it is there. And then the other one is pocket banks. So here at the top, I've got all the pianist magazines. Let me show you one. So at the end of each magazine, there's a whole series of pieces that you can just have a go. So I usually like to do that as well. Something else I like to do to help me find more pieces is to write a list of composers that I like. So say I'm on a forum or on social media and I come across a composer's name either that I've never heard of or whose music I like, then I, I'll write it down in a note-taking app. I just use the note app for iPhone. And you can also brainstorm and think of all the composers you like and just write down their names so that when you next need to go find music, just go on IMSLP, type in the name of the composer and then find piano music by this composer. So this is how I do it. This is how I find music every week. Let me know in the comments how you do it. How do you find music and where do you go to find music? Did you know about IMSLP? Do you use other websites? Uh, I love to hear how you do it. So please let me know in the comments below. So that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Happy set reading!